Why, hello there YouTube and welcome to a ranking video. So I thought now with all the John Wick movies, you know, all out and I've reviewed them all and stuff, I thought now would be a time to rank all four films. So there are four films, this is all my personal opinion. If you have your own, do feel free to share down in the comments. So, yeah, let's get on with the ranking. So, coming in at number four, it is John Wick Chapter 4. Yeah, the most recent instalment in this series. Um, like I say, it was a good film. It was actually, there was a lot that happened in it, but too much, I feel, happened in it. This film is almost three hours long, and I don't know. Maybe for some people, it, it will fly by. They will enjoy it, and I did, but I just feel this went on a lot longer than it needed to. But I feel that from watching this one, I think they now know to end the series there. But it's still, it was a good, you know, finale for this series. But i got to say it's probably my least favourite because, you know, we've got to start somewhere. Coming in at number three it is John Wick Chapter 2, the second instalment, the first sequel in this series. Um, I did like this one for the main part. But the middle act in it was a bit slow, and I almost fell asleep on first viewing. I mean, I watched it again, and saw the whole film properly. But, um, yeah, like I say, it was good action, but I don't remember much of this one. Other than he's, you know, it's a direct continuation from the previous film. He breaks some rule at the end, and then he's got no one to help him this time. Uh, but, still made up for in the next instalment but yeah number three john wick chapter two and at number two it is john wick the first film in the series i liked this one i thought it was a surprising hit i mean i i don't think anyone would expect it to be really successful as it was but it was and um you know i think keanu reeves was badass in this you know leading an all-star cast it was a fun film, and who would have thought, you know, killing a retired assassin's dog triggers him to go on a whole rampage and avenge his puppy. After all, it was a gift from his wife. But, um, yeah. I just like the humour and the laid-backness of this one, and how everyone just doesn't mess with him. They know not to mess with him. And my number one pick, of course, it is John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum. This one, carrying straight on from the second film, I think they upped the ante, they upped the violence, they upped the action, they did everything three times as big, and I liked that, I liked this one, it was like, you know, Keanu, you know, John Wick was badass, he was on it, he was just super tough, and, you know, despite everyone on the hunt for him, he didn't let them get him down. You know, and, you know, we get, again, you know, our supporting characters, you know, Ian McShane, Lance Riddick, and, you know, we get some newcomers as well, like cameos as well, like from Angelica Houston. Um, so, yeah, a fun third film and probably my favourite in this series as of the recording of this video. So, yeah, that's how I would rank the John Wick films. So how would you rank these? Let me know down in the comments below and if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up and to share with your friends and feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell. If you love horror I have a channel for that too linked below so feel free to check that out. But yes on this channel until next time I bid you all a goodbye friends goodbye.